we also had this amazing Filipina rap song at the end. Yeah, we listened to Ruby Ibarra. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yes. And I think we had like a really interesting conversation about how what she was doing with rap was like kind of different from some of the things mm -hmm. that Aquafina mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. Most of the time you listen to a song, it's like, oh, this is a nice song. And it's not like necessarily like that different from like anything else you've heard. Mm. But like when you hear like something like like that song, it's like yeah. I've never heard anything like this before. And it yeah. kind of felt like that for me. Yeah, I think that song really sort of encapsulates the success of the event, if you could, if you could label it as such uh because it that was a song in a moment where unprompted though we prompted for a song but unprompted to us the student brought forth a song that wasn't just a song but sort of a message for the room rhetorically about everything that they were feeling in that moment they i mean we they could have of course chosen any song and i'm sure there were all of your standard like love songs, pop songs, songs about being at a party and how cool it was. But instead, we got this very poignant, very purposeful song sort of put forth and offered for the rest of the room to listen to. It was a really cool moment. That's just so funny to me because it also reminds me of one of the other songs that was on there. Um, My Vag <laughs> by Aquafina, which I also love that someone put that there. Um <laughs> Especially that it was a professor. <laughs> but um, it it was, I think, very... It would have been a really different experience if we had chosen, like, my badge over us right. to listen to together. I was thinking, uh, like, Like a G6 was also one that was, like, thrown out. Which, which oh, really? while a wonderful, amazing song <laughs> is not... It it's a have party depth, song. Right? It's a party song. Yeah. It is. It's about having a good time. And, whereas Ruby Barr's song was very, yeah, it's very purposeful very impactful especially in that moment and the fact that it was like this feminist anti-imperialist song um about Tene women like not taking any shit I think like listening to it especially where we are um where we were like like a, a military university it's just like it was such like a a weird convergence of things that made it really powerful I also remember um, after listening to that song, we had a really interesting discussion extending the earlier conversation about mm -hmm. appropriation and use of African-American vernacular English um, in relation to the song. And um, I thought that that was really interesting because it brought up really difficult questions about when, when do we call something appropriation? What does it mean? How can we even say as, you know, people who are either Asian American or white, but not necessarily ourselves, African American. So I thought that that led to a really kind of like interesting, I guess, question in that moment. I think that's a neat thing about like group listening in general, too, is that group listening demands those reverberations we've sort of talked about. You can't listen to a song that's that impactful and then just let the whole room fall silent completely and then just go up and stand up and leave for the day right mm -hmm. like like it, it invites commentary it invites like growth when you listen to a song as a group even if it was something like like a g6 it would have it would have had some sort of commentary afterward and i think that that's one of the really cool things about this sort of event is that it doesn't just provide a space for listening but it provides a space for a response to that listening as well yeah that makes me think of after the song, I feel like there was a moment of quiet, like almost like, dang, what did we just watch? Like, that was amazing. And I think people started saying that. Um, and then we had that conversation. But I think you're right that, like, I can't even imagine going through that experience together and then just like leaving. <laughs> Saying goodbye. Yeah. All right. That was it. Yeah. Was nice. yeah. I guess maybe one of the nice things about like listening in like community is it's so different from like listening to like these people like just like in your headphones like mm -hmm. from spotify by yourself completely like decontextualized or like maybe it is like you can listen to like asian american women in indie like there's a spotify playlist for that but then like when you take a moment to listen to that with like people it's just different mm -hmm. 
And I think also, too, because that was such an empowering song and they presented, like, Filipina women in such a strong way. And I think that's part of what made it different, too. And then to have it kind of be almost like a collective empowerment moment, like you're saying, it's kind of different from if you were to just hear it by yourself and feel like, yeah, this is great or something like that. 